Okay, so for this new tutorial, we're going to replace the background of our product shot. Let's go to Browse Tutorials. I'm going to change this from Photo Editing to All Categories. I'm going to select and Mask. And I'm going to select Replace a Product Shot Background with Layer Mask. Start Tutorial. I am going to make this a little bit bigger smaller for myself only just so you guys can see everything going on move this over here so first thing we're going to select select subject this is going to automatically detect the main subject in the photo and create a selection around it there we go it's right here we see that select subject command did a good job selecting the shape of the headphones but it included the white area in the middle. This needs to be subtracted from the selection. So we have to remove this. So we're gonna to go to click next, and then we're gonna choose, choose the quick selection tool. If it's already selected, we have to go to something else and then click in here. Now, it's very important that you know that you're going the quick selection tool, not the object selection tool. So once we have this, we're gonna to go to this one up here that says minus. Okay, so look for the one that has a little minus on it and select that. Okay, now we're going to select next. Now we're going to drag over this area to include it in the selection. Okay, now we see that selected. We're going to go down here and add a layer mask icon. Okay, this is going to uh, hide some of the white area that we don't want. Okay, so that's going to hide it. And now we see that that white part has been removed. Click next. And right here, under layer, we're going to go new layer via copy to duplicate the headphones layer. We can do that, but we also have a shortcut. So on the Mac, it's command J. If you have a Windows keyboard, it's going to be that little Windows button with J. So for me, I'm going to go command J. Now, we can see it worked correctly because another duplicate copy layer is right there okay that's how we know it worked now right here we're going to click the black and white light layer icon mask thumbnail of the original headphones layer so this one is what we want that does not say copy we want to click on this little uh this mask here okay and we know it's been selected because a little white border is kind of around that one the original one so once we have that clicked, we're going to go next. Now, we have to go up here to image adjustment invert. It's going to invert the original one, okay? And it's going to hide the headphones and reveal the white background, including the shadow. So up here, image adjustment invert, okay? Image adjustments invert. Click that. And now we're going to blend it. We want the shadows. So if you see the shadows right here, that's what we're going to get in here. Okay, so we're going to change this uh, blend mode on the menu here for this one right there, the original, okay, to multiply. And this is going to help us see that little shadow there. Okay, now we're going to create a new adjustment layer levels. So go into layer, new adjustment. Uh, right here where is it new adjustment layer levels layer new adjustment layer levels now right here we're going to click the box right here it says use previous layer to create clipping mask this is going to allow the shadow to be under it so we're going to click that right there and go okay and now right over here let me move this so we can see what's happening. We're going to change this right here, the middle one, to 0.65. It's going to darken the shadow more so we can see it. So let's go like that to 0.65. Okay. Now, this technique works well with the product photos that have a white background where you want to use the original shadows from that white background on a new background. Okay. So let's click next here, like that. Click next. So if we want to see what this looks like, okay, 
let's go like this right here we can see how that made it darker uh but without without this one look see how we click that how it shows the shadow right there so that's what we did we created that shadow better but there you go there's some different uh uh, techniques you can use for removing it. Now, if you're my student and you need to upload this online and you want to make less space so it doesn't use up all your space depending on what platform you're using. Right now, currently, we're using Canvas. You can do this. You can go, you can always save your work as a Photoshop file, you know, so you have all those layers. But then after that, you probably want to um, change the image size. So right here, the biggest size right here on the width is 1800. I'm going to change that to 1000. And that's just because we don't need as much space when you're showing your work online, right? This might not apply to everyone. And then we're going to save this as a JPEG. So I'm going to go file, save a copy, save on your computer. And I'm putting this in my downloads. Make sure you know where it goes. I'm going to change this to JPEG. And right here, I'm going to make sure I'm, I don't touch that little period, but I'm going to save it to whatever the name of the tutorial is. And in this case, it's replace a product shot background with layer okay I'm gonna save that right there copy that just so I have the name so I can use layer and six quality is good there you go that's how you can do that tutorial.